interesting from Oligona Solskjaer. He said it shows us we are not... Uh, we are where we are. We're not living in fantasy land, thinking we can catch the top two. We're far away. We should not be speaking about being far off the top four at Manchester United. He was brought up with the very best. Now, there's plenty to discuss here, Michael. When he's saying there, we've probably seen some players for the last time in a Manchester United shirt. That's not a surprise. The question is, how difficult is it to get a number of them out of the club at once? Far more difficult than people think. Yeah. Um, a lot of them are on big contracts, um, and they're not going to be prepared to move unless somebody else can match that contract or give them a contract that's longer or more lucrative or with more, you know, um, let's say a, a better job spec. Um, in terms of going higher or better team, but there's not that many bigger than Manchester United, of course. So, you know, the odd player that is coming to the end of their contract, they'll be easier to let go, but there aren't too many. I think one matter is one that's coming to the end of his contract. I'd be surprised if they renewed that one. Um, but players like Alexi Sanchez that they're not getting a tune out of at all, and then they've got earning an absolute fortune every single week, they'll be keen to probably either, well, to try to get more out of him or to, to move him on, and, and but they're going to have to supplement his wages because he's not going to budge, is he, for, for you know a fraction of the money he's on. Have you ever been in that situation where you know the manager doesn't want you, but actually, personally, for you and your family, it doesn't make any sense to suddenly burst out of the door? No, not personally, Steve, because I've always wanted to play. You know, I, I think it's important to want to go somewhere and play on a regular okay. basis. But do you but feel every modern-day player has that attitude? No, I don't think so. I think sometimes you, you put them in the squad and, and they they look at it thinking, am I going to play? Because if I'm not, you're actually interfering with my social life by, by putting me in the squad. And I'm going to have to travel to Huddersfield on a Friday night <laughs> or, or the Saturday night to play and sit on the bench, possibly. Unfortunately... That is a modern-day player. Not all of them. Not all of them. Because some will play, the best ones will play for nothing. Um, but unfortunately, that's the, that's the world we live in now. We give them so much money, give them so much so early, um, without achieving, um, and we create a monster. And that is what we're dealing with. So, from a manager's point of view, in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's situation now, how potentially disruptive could that be by having players Very around much. that he doesn't want mm. that he can't get out of the football yeah, club but first and foremost David, it shouldn't be him who's dealing with this they need someone to help him it shouldn't be Ed Woodward he's a commercial man he's the top commercial man at Manchester United and, and I think no one's in any doubt that he, he is top of his field but he needs help on the footballing side so I think they need a football man in there to be a sporting director to be able to try and help Ollie. speak to Ollie, uh, and then they have to Ollie's out of it then. Ollie will identify the ones he wants to get rid of, and then he'll leave it up to the sporting director to speak to the agent and possibly the player to try and find them pastures new. Uh, it's not going to be easy. Huge money. They're going to have to subsidise money. Um, it's going to end up costing Manchester United money by letting players go. But they need to do it because at least you re release. Let's take Alexis Sanchez for instance. Whatever he's reportedly on four hundred thousand pound a week, whatever it is, subsidise hundred thousand pound of that. Get him an, a fresh club. You know, it ain't, you need players on the pitch. You need them on there and they need to be working. So, do you feel Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will go down a younger, more hungry route in terms of? the group and, and potential recruitment. Yeah, I think he will. I think he'll promote some of the youth players now. I think there's three or four players that will come into the first-team squad as of next season. I think he'll try to get rid of you know, quite a few players, what he can, and then he'll try to recruit three or four players as well. Um, so I think all that will go on. And let's not forget, every team at this sta stage of the season will be in the same situation. It's just I think that Manchester United have more of these players to try to trade, to try to move on than, uh, than most other teams. If you were in Ollie's position in an ideal world, how many would you, would you like to get out? How, how big an overhaul do you think this is? Uh, I looked at the squad. I was covering the, a, a game, um, a Manchester United game, about two weeks ago, and I did exactly that in my mind. I, there was an 18-man squad, and I counted that there was 10 players in that squad that I, would, I don't think you know, were good enough to be Manchester United players. So... I'd say, you know, they've got a squad of, let's say, 25 players. I think there's probably half of that squad that, in an ideal world, Ollie would like to get rid of. I think he'll be able, be able to get rid of maybe five or six. He might have to just stomach mm. an extra five or six until next year, if he gets given that long. It's difficult. You know, when you, you tell him, say, he might want to get rid of 15 of them, if he goes all out and tells them he wants to get rid of them, and then he can't, then you've got a problem. 
So he has to be very cute how he does it. There will be one or two who even 100% needs to get out. And he'll he say to the hierarchy there, I need these guys out. Get them out of my way. And the others, he might be able to tiptoe around for the time being. And then the long-term plan is to, is to move them out. But he certainly needs to clear the decks before he starts bringing players in. Worst thing for a manager like Oli is to have too many players too many poor players and so many of players you don't want in your dressing room because of the bad apples. Uh, if you have too many bad apples in there, they, they spoil everything. Mm.